Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey guys, I'm Hayden Wright and this is my 2017 Giant Rain Advanced One. So this revision of the rain first came out in 2014 with this geometry and such. Uh, in terms of the actual frame itself, it hasn't been revised since um, because they hit the nail on the head the first time. Uh, when it first came out, it was quite progressive, uh, slack head angle, 65 degrees, quite a steep, for the moment, uh, seat tube angle and a really low bottom bracket which makes it a great bike for descending. Uh, the Rain Advanced One has a carbon front triangle with alloy links and an alloy rear triangle. Uh, it's all mated together with the Mastro floating pivot. Uh, it's got internal cable routing and a 142 by 12 spacing on the rear. Uh, so the reason I went for this bike mainly was the specification. Obviously all the Rain models outside of frame material have the same geometry and all those things. So. The reason I went for the Rain Advance 1 is the spec. Uh, more specifically, it's got an XT group set, super reliable, uh, cheap to replace things like cassettes and chains, and the brakes, which are newly revised there, the MT8000. Um, a lot more modulation than previous Shimano brakes, but they've still got that great bite at the start and still got great lever feel, uh, which I really like. Um, my other big factor for picking this bike was the Float X2 shock. Um, it's a new essentially a downhill shock uh, which Fox is making um, but they've fitted it with a climb switch so you can still flick that and cruise up a fire road or up a trail if you want to get this bike to the top of a hill by doing that instead of shuttling it. Other great features about this bike are the Fox 36 Elite Fork. Uh, it's got the new boost 15 by 110 spacing um, and obviously you can change the air spring rebound and it's got a new adjuster called Off the Top. It's also got your three different settings for soft, medium, firm, depending on what kind of trail you're riding. I prefer just to leave it in soft the entire time. Spike's also got the giant contact SL dropper post. Uh, from my experience, re really reliable. It's cable actuated, so you won't have any issues having to bleed the thing or um, having it work differently when you go into different weather conditions, really hot or really cold. Um, the staunch in itself has 150 mils of travel, which, if you ask anyone, is enough to keep you out of trouble. So if you're looking for a new bike, uh, I would definitely recommend putting the Rain Advance 1 or any of the Rains on your list. Um, if you're the kind of rider who likes to race a bit of enduro, maybe do some shuttle days and just go out and cruise up the climbs with your mates and then gas it down the descents, uh, I'd definitely recommend this one for you. 160mm travel front and rear, the bike's bulletproof and I love it.